All right, now I want to show you some more amazing video. Take a look at this 16-year-old pitcher from Orlando. There he is. Nice wind-up, good form. Do you notice something at the bottom of the screen there? He has no legs. He's got two prosthetic legs. He's been pitching since he's eight years old. He's now 16, throws 80 miles an hour. There's a close-up. Just tried out for his high school team. That 16-year-old's name is Anthony Baruto, and he was just cut from his high school baseball team. Apparently, the coach was concerned that Anthony could not field bunts, and that was the reason for cutting him. Really, coach? This one has me livid tonight. Folks, I understand the competitive nature of high school baseball in Florida, trust me. And I know lots of talented players didn't make that team. But this is a coach who doesn't get it. High school sports is about much more than winning and losing. It's about hard work. It's about character. It's about inspiration. And I can't believe there's any player in the entire state of Florida who has worked harder, has more character, or is more of an inspiration than this young man, Anthony Baruto, who joins us tonight along with his mother, Diane. Welcome to both of you. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Good. Great to see you, Anthony and Diane. Um, Anthony, first I want to get your reaction. You're trying out for this high school team, Doc Phillips down in Orlando. I know this is a a top team competitive everyone wants to make the team it's big time high school baseball what were your expectations going in uh, my expectations going in was to actually just make the team and be part of the program but unfortunately I went there and tried out and uh, the coach gave me the excuse that I can't uh, cover bunts which bunts wasn't even a part of the tryout so, okay so, and for people who don't understand baseball, uh, you know, pitcher, you throw the ball and the batter's trying to hit it, but if a batter bunts, part of the responsibility of picking up that bunt is, is for the pitcher, and you have to field the position. You've got to cover first base on slowly hit ground balls. I get all that. Diane, here's what's got me livid tonight, is this is high school baseball. Exactly. High school baseball. It's not the major leagues. Uh, I, you know, this coach can... Hey, let, me read, let me read the school statement, first of all. And this, this, mm -hmm. All right, just to get this out of the way before I explode here. Anthony was given the same opportunity as all other students to try out for the Dr. Phillips High School baseball teams. He was among 63 student-athletes who were evaluated for a position on either the varsity or junior varsity squads. With only 40 roster spots, Anthony and 22 other students did not make either team. As a sophomore, Anthony has the chance to vie for a position on a school team again next year, and we hope he will. Well, well there's one thing in this equation that's not going to change. I mean, if the coach is going to cut him because he can't cover a bunt because he's got prosthetic legs, that's not going to change next year, Diane, is it? Well, let me just clarify something. Anthony's played three seasons with Dr. Phillips High School, two fall, one JV. During that JV season, he was injured. Um, so they know his game. They know what he's got. He's a very good athlete, very good pitcher. He handles his own out there. And um, I think it's just a bunch, bunch of excuses, to be honest with you. Well, I, what I don't understand, and I don't understand, this is high, let's get back to this, high school baseball. This is a, a place where, you know, we are teaching and building and molding the future of our country, right? These young people, we're Correct. talking about character. We're, and tell, tell me, Diane, because I know Anthony's not going to brag about himself because he's that kind of a guy. Um, tell me how hard your son has worked in his life to get to the point where he is now getting up on the mound playing baseball playing very competitive baseball whipping that ball 80 miles an hour um he's worked extremely hard not to say that you know other kids out there don't work hard but anthony has to work harder um he works hard at everything he does he loves the game of baseball he has tremendous heart for the game he became skilled at it he excels at it and had to overcome obstacles obviously to get there nothing can stop him I you know that's the way I raised him you don't have a disability you want to do something go out and try it do it and, and tell you what, I'll tell you what this decision isn't gonna stop him either now Anthony um, tell me how this impacts you the fact that you want to play high school baseball and for so many young I have uh, two young boys at home and I'm sure my son wants to play high school baseball and it's gonna, and it's, it's a long tough road these days especially uh, at these big high schools but what how does this what does this do to you as an individual how does this impact your life the fact that your dream to be on that team is shut down really it impacted me harder than ever um, like you said my ultimate dream was to be on that high school team and wear that jersey with my own personal number and uh, I feel like coach Bradley really shattered that dream he basically told me that 
I'm not going to make the team ever again because I can't field bunts, which isn't true. I can field bunts just a little slower than the average person. Here's and, the other uh, thing, Anthony. I mean, you've been playing competitive baseball for some time. Have there been teams that say, okay, take a look at the pitcher. He's got prosthetic legs. Let's everybody, let's just bunt. Has that ever happened? No, actually, I've, I haven't only just played Little League. I've played travel ball, right. too, for many years. People, and uh, people have never made exceptions for me. Like, they haven't looked at me and been like, oh, let's not bunt off this kid because he has two prosthetic legs. They've played against me like any other person's pitching on the mound. I, and I don't understand the, 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 the aspect of this, you know, winning and losing. What's been the reaction of your, your, your classmates and, and kids that, that made this team that you've played with in the past, teammates? Uh, how are they reacting to all this? Yeah, actually, uh, teammates, I've been playing with them since I actually moved out here from New York. Um, they've slowly started to come up to me recently within the last two weeks uh, asking me, where have you been, Baruto? And uh, I said I got cut. And they're probably thinking that I was either injured and I'm waiting to come back, but I haven't been at practice. And when I tell them that I got cut, their reaction is just like, oh, my God, are you serious? There's no way. How can you get cut? They're livid about it. You going to try that next year? Um, I'm not too sure. If Coach Bradley's the coach, no, I would never play for him again. And he made it clear that, you know, Anthony could participate in the program as a manager, but unfortunately he can't participate as a player. So oh, there is on. no more yeah. trying out. Yeah, that's, that's, you can participate as a manager. That's ridiculous. So I you mean, know it's an insult, He's, a, he's really. an athlete. He's a ball player. He's been playing his whole life. Exactly. He's worked uh, much harder than anyone else. And let me tell you, I, I got to think, Anthony, uh, if you want to pat yourself on the back, I got to think that you being out there and competing with your teammates, um, if I'm on your team, it's got to be inspirational and it's, it's got to be something that says, hey, listen, what Anthony has done is absolutely amazing. Me as a player, if I work half as hard as him, maybe I could be half the player uh, than Anthony is. I, I don't see the downside to having you on the team, Anthony. I really don't. And I, I really think the kids respect Anthony and admire Anthony and respect him because he is a good athlete. Now with this decision, I mean, slowly but surely, the team is, you know, moving further away from him. Like, you know, I don't, I don't know what uh, he's I'll doing wrong. I'll tell you wrong. what, Dr. Phillips, the school should be embarrassed, the coach should be embarrassed by all this. And uh, best of luck to you, Anthony. I know you're gonna do well, because what you've done to this point tells me a whole lot about the way you're gonna live your life. And, and the success that lies for you down the road with or without a varsity letter from Doc Phillips High School. Um, uh, maybe you can get to another school. I don't know. Uh, your parents will figure the, all that out for you, Anthony. But really, Thank good you. luck to you. And I know your dad's not feeling well. Uh, and our best wishes to him as well tonight. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having us. All right. I take care. Anthony Baruto. good luck to you, sir.